In this video, we play the tank that made me install War Thunder in the first place. A tank so awesome, it wears the skin of its dead enemies. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we play a vehicle very close to my heart. Since back in the day, I used to play Company Heroes. This was the best tank that you could possibly get in the game, the Super Persian. Now, I covered this vehicle last year in one of the story videos where I got one of my first nukes in War Thunder with it, and today, is going to be no different. Now I got a comment to revisit this thing since it moved to 6.7 from 6.3. I just wanted to see how we'd get on with it. Got quite a few full up tiers which didn't seem to be too much of a problem just because this thing's cannon is superb. For our main shell we have 224 millimeters of penetration, great angle pen as well, 137 grams of TNT mass. This thing is just an absolute beast. For the power this gun has, it has quite a decent reload at 13 seconds with an expert crew, and this armor is absolutely beastly. There's very few weak spots in this thing from the front to most vehicles that you'll face. This is the key one here. This is where the ammunition is stored inside the turret. As you can see, the shells are pretty big, so they're very prone to getting hit. This vehicle also angles really well, but my favorite feature is the boiler plates on the front here, and of course the Panther armor that's been welded to the front of the mantlet. Mobility is great because at the end of the day it's a purging, it's very good for its battle rate and it still is, but the most annoying thing with this vehicle, the only really sort of weak spot that kind of makes me angry, is the vertical stabilizer is up here. Now I believe this is just a counterbalance in real life because the barrel is so long, but if this is shot you can no longer elevate your gun up and down, so if you're struggling to shoot this thing and you don't know where to pen it, shoot that and it becomes a little bit of a problem. Now we've got three games to show you in total. The first one is just me doing my thing in this thing, as you can all expect. The second one was a little bit more of a struggle, and then the third one was just an absolute cakewalk once I get used to one of my favorite tanks in the game. Anyway, let's get into battle, and I'll show you how I got on. Okay, we are full up tiered on a map that favors speed, and we're actually out in the front for once. Anytime I spawn in a fast light tank, I end up at the back having to drive over nine mounds of dirt through 20 tank traps, and I'm like a kilometer behind everyone else. At least we got a good spot this thing, I guess. Oh my god, why are we so slow on this ground? It's just a tiny bit of mud on concrete. This is really going to depend on how aggressive our teammates are, by the way. And they probably aren't going to be. Okay. I went for the Hail Mary to where people normally sit and no one was there. Enemies already capped A. And murders are already firing rockets. We might be dead to a T-4400. Just possibly. Okay, I jigged it. Oh my god, the explosions that I can't see a thing. Right, the T-4400 is dead. I'm gonna keep trying to push this way. No, we're not, because there's a guy right here. What, is this a Leo? Most aware leopard player. Oh! Can I can I get round here? That would be awesome. I think I'm scouted. Yo, yeah, well, I think we actually got a good spot. I, I do hear enemies close by, which is. Not making me the happiest. Let, let me squeeze in here. Oh, this guy just fired. Oh no, I, I'm in a good spot, but I can't really make anything of it because of this guy's here. Okay, Panther 2. Scary. And now I gotta deal with this dude in front of me. Maybe, I actually don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I really want to push up, but I can't get my third person camera to see what it is. Ooh. Oh, it's a bulldog. So he didn't expect that. I'm just going to be here now because I'm scared. What on earth is that? What is this? That man just tried to kill me. 
Commander Gunner engine and transmission. Uh, and it, was that a Leo there? I have no idea. We are the luckiest players in the whole entire universe right now. Maybe I'll flip around the other side. I'm going to get bombed, aren't I? It's just a given. We we did well, so I mean, it's just a fitting punishment. What is that? An object on 20? I really hope not. It's worse. But he's dead. And now the SU... Can I actually 50 kill this guy from here? Oh, I can. It's gonna unload her and stuff her out. There's an IS-2 coming this way. Think about <laughs> Okay. I think my teammates are getting deleted behind me slowly but surely though. Um, that SU... 100 guys definitely not gonna peek out that way again, I don't think. Oh no, he kind of is. Okay, my teammate just did something interesting. Do, do the thing again. I'm happy for you to try it. He's getting shot at. I can't really do anything from where I'm from, but I think my teammate's doing a good job dealing with that guy. Am I ready to die yet? Oh, there's not very many people left in the match, so maybe I am ready to die. A bulldog. That issue doesn't want to peek me, you know? What is scouted here? Behind the wall? Yeah, I don't think I can see that. Oh, he's moving around. Um, oh. Oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Yeah, okay, we bounced it, we bounced it, we're good. It's that IS-3. I've got time, I think, to escape it. Oh, he's moving away. I'm okay with that. You can leave anytime you want, dude. Happy. Happy for you to leave. Oh, there's an enemy in here. A JPZ-45. How... How are the enemies still pushing back? Oh, hey. A T-44. Right. Avoid the IS-3 at all costs. <laughs> I know there was a light tank kind of pushing towards the B-cap. Is it? Uh, let's see if this gets capped. It doesn't. It doesn't, dude. So this is a full up here. I mean, a double ace. Dude. That's pretty nice. I actually almost got a nuke. I don't think it's going to happen, though. What's my T-92 shooting? Oh, it's an anti-air of some description. Nice, it was a quellian. What about now? I I'll try. It's worth a shot, right? There's a lot of ticket bleeds, so... I might not make it. But 11 kills, and I deserve them all, I think. No, my teammate's cap in the A-cap. It's so far away, then. 15 kilometers away. The ticket bleed is going to start firing down though. I wish it went down to zero, the ticket bleed, until you dropped the nuke. Give you like an extra minute or something to do it. That would be cool, but you know, no fun allowed in that. Kaijin's motto. <laughs> Unofficially. I'll we'll just put our smoke on. Well, I can say that I officially managed to get a nuke just in the super purging and I fill up to you. So, there you go. Very cool. Thank you, War Thunder. GG. Alright, did we got Breslau. We're against Russia, though, and it's an up tier. 
uh, on this map is not very good. We're also against Britain, which is a real problem. I might actually peek this direction. I don't know why this tiger drove out here like he did, but he did it. Thank you, dude. That's very good. Handy. It's definitely going to save your life. This Jagdpanther is going to be a pest too, right? Is that a Saint Mark Wardness here? Okay, I don't know how you never killed this guy, but okay. I'm getting rid of T-34-100. Absolutely. Right. Our charioteer has gone around the other side. Is this a T-4400? Yeah, it is. Not the most ideal vehicle to face. And a normal T-44 as well. Right, what else is here? In the street? The T-4400 is getting a bit frisky. His angled armor is a pain in the ass. Okay, teammates smacked him. Thank you, teammate. A Swedish player, Chad. Is my teammate doing okay, though? The best armor in this game is the stuff that's around you. I see someone in the background. But my good graphics is... Causing issues. That was a shot in the dark, by the way. I just guessed. <laughs> Don't ask me how I saw him, because I didn't. I just saw the bushes earlier, and I just tried to time it. And it worked. <laughs> oh my god. I do see this guy, though. That should never have killed him in a million years, but it did. Oh, no, there's a Type 63 behind us. There's so much fire here, I... In 4K, it's pretty difficult to see through it. I hear a tiger, but it might be a Japanese one, maybe. I don't know. Nice, dude! The charioteer... Dealt with that guy. Kind of took that bait. I'm gonna push up here and try and catch off... This guy is on my left-hand side. I don't see anyone here, so... It's a good opportunity to try and move. This guy's right on the cab, is he? Okay, 1892, I got you. And you killed that guy, right? Yes. Right, we're gonna move around and try and get this cap point. That's friendly, yeah, yeah? That is. Right, my 1892 has got that area covered. I don't see anything coming down this way, so... M26 is there. The tiger's here. It's, it's going well. Thus far. It's uh, going to be a tough battle against Russia. We're going to have a peek back down this street again. But we're going to do the old... Side scrape. Just to make sure. Right, those two enemies are not and they're dead. Couldn't ask for better. Hori prototype just shot from this way. Right, I think I'm going to have to try and cross. My teammate is sticking out here and he's not dead yet now. Okay. That guy's shooting down a corridor that I don't understand. I don't know what sort of angle he's got. But it's not safe here. I, need, I do need to get to B though. My chariot here needs help. I think. This is a hoary prototype. Private Williams. I can hear the Hori prototype. He's also waiting. That guy never heard me. To be honest, I never heard him either, so... Right, let's chase the little guy. He's right here. He actually like turned in a little bit. 
We're losing C again, are we? Oh my lord. I may get a shot on the guy on C. There is a chance. He's not on C. I don't know where that little rascal is. I think... Did he just push past? He's completely dead silented. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh, it's an Arado. Thank God, I thought it was a... Oh, there's a guy shooting at our A21. Might be a Praga or something. Oh, my man's using sea mines. Where is this guy shooting from? Oh, he's back here. Was that BTR? Making sure I got him. I think that might be an R3 down there. Which is not great if I have to take him in a sort of head on. Actually, I've got Zunis. What am I talking about? There's something else firing at me as well. Is this guy dead? Is it. Oh, my tiger was shooting at something. What was firing stuff at me? What's my A21 doing? I heard that 240 shooting, right? Was it that guy? It's looking good. Oh god, yeah, it's another R3 respawning something else. Respawning the same vehicle. Right, we're not doing very well after that. My plane is not flying very well. Where's the R3? Even if I can just deal with him for a sec. Right, we got him, but he got us too. He can spawn another one, which is good news. And we're gonna have to spawn another Super Pershing to kind of try and secure this. I don't know if that Type 62 is dead. The Scorpion is being brave. There's a guy definitely somewhere here. Because I saw him when I spawned in. He got pinged by the bomb drop. That might have been him. Look at the top players having to carry this look. The enemy team don't have that many kills, but they had much better positioning. Someone is coming down here. All the corpses are gone though. Right, I think my teammates have dealt with everything that's in front of us. There's only two left and I think one's a LAN 9. I'd like to get into a spot where we can defend this sea cap. So I'm actually going to push through here. On the left hand side though. Being careful about it. Put ourselves in a little bit of harm's way but not too much. <laughs> I love when you get a response from that. That's the friendly Pershing. Who's been alive this entire time. It was a Bosvark. It was a Bosvark. Same thing as the BDR. The M46 just shot at a guy who's spawn protected. It's a Rital. GG. Right, dude, it looks like we're against Russia, which is not good, and it's a uh, full up tier. Hurry, 7-7. Seven, seven. Got wrecked by a T-10A or something. Hopefully I get aggressive teammates that actually take good positions, so we can't just get overrun immediately. Or oh, that we are dead. <laughs> this is not a good combination to be fighting against. Germany, Russia, and Britain. And we've got all the oddball stuff. You are very rarely ever see someone rushing down this road on... The enemy side. And I can't really fathom why. It's almost like they get shot from C cap. There's already an enemy pushing through here. Holy moly. 
We're just gonna keep going. That's a Russian dishka. I'm making a lot of noise, but I don't know if anyone's actually gonna hear me come this way. They probably have. You can actually see through those buildings sometimes. We're going in. Probably shouldn't have shot that guy or knocked down a tree as well. What's pushing me here? A jumbo. A stim tire. My teammate just killed that object. Why is there no one on the monument? Okay. We got a kind of opportunity here, I think, to actually be aggressive and do something important. Which doesn't come often to do the best we can, right? This guy might be behind a building, no, he's not. Oh, stim tiger. Oh no. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, my teammate's actually fighting this guy, so... Maybe another stim tiger, maybe. Can I shoot him through the window? Holy moly. Are you gonna stop there or are you gonna keep going? Get going. And there was another light tank, I didn't see him. Oh, it's a Panther F. I might get pushed from behind shortly. He's just waiting here. Okay. For being a fill up here, we've done pretty well. We're already on a, a cheeky wee ace. But where's all the King Tigers at? Where's the actual armor? IS3s and stuff. Because there should be plenty of them. And they're all like kettled in one spot. Okay, my teammates are pushing up, so I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, the bombers are here. Right, teammates just bomb two guys in this field. That was the most bravest tiger in the whole world. You're a big brave boy. And there's still another guy in this corner. What was that, a Yag Panther again? He did shoot. Oh, please. There's someone down on the. Oh, someone was pushing behind us. We got lucky. Right, I think we leave the Hori to do what he's doing here. I'm gonna back up and go around the other way. Because I'm not sure what exactly what's going on. But my teammates actually do I, my teammates look like they're doing okay. My Hori prototype just murdered somebody else as well. Oh hey, there's a bad man here. Got a couple of hits, I'll take it. We're actually like kinda surrounded. Oh, the fuck it was dead. Did the super vision just has the right amount of like firepower and mobility? The armor works sometimes, you know, like it's not a guarantee, depending on who you're fighting and what vehicle you're fighting. But it, it holds up well. When it was 6-3, it was a monster. But it's, it's just an okay vehicle at this BR. And you can't ask for more than that. An IS-2? Where's the IS-2? It's on the other side of this wall. Oh my... T I don't know what the hell is going on actually. I wasn't going to shoot at that in case it was still spawn protected, but there you go. We, we wiped them out, dude. How did I survive whatever just shot me? I don't even know what hit me.
a, a heavy? Oh my god, this thing is getting absolutely bullied. Uh, I don't know how I got his machine gun out of that shot, but we did. Get him, Obo. Oh, he's well tucked in now. There's another guy over here as well. An IS too. Okay, is he dead? He's dead. Uh, this is a bit of a... SHT show. And I he just shot... My teammates from behind. I saw the round coming in. Okay, he's shooting from up here. Maybe two of them. Oh, SG under P just spawned in and got me. That was a weird match. But it is what it is. And bonk. I love the super purging. I like it better than even the jumbo purging. There's just something about it. The gun is so nice and easy to use. The mobility is there. You've got the frontal armor to shrug off most things. And it just inspires a lot of confidence in the way that you play it. I don't think the BR adjustment to 6.7 has hurt it too much. But of course at 6.3 it was much better. But should 5.3 tanks of minor nations be fighting this thing? Probably not. And that's really the reason why it ended up up here. Now if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss more content. I'm putting a video every single day until the end of May. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. As always, a huge thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon and Discord. Thank you guys very much. To all the tier 3s who get a shout out over on Discord. That's Miss Lita, Shadow Wolf, Toast McGee, d Baggis, Sexy, White Wolf, Audible Bo, Bofe, Destari, Fearless Fighting, French Fish, Fearless Germ, Mushy Boy, Pick My Puma, Rusty, Stoyan, Train Toilet and Zig. And to everyone over on Patreon. That's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Paul Hendricks, The Tackle Guy, FTN Watermelon, Shane McGuire, Ahenius, Anders Stormwind, Brandon aka The Flying Pickle, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Handsome Tatia, Kin the Salt Lord, Love a Weasel, Ralph Reich, Tectonic, Tanks Gone Well, The Anomaly, Varian, Warpig, Shaft, Mortan and Stoyan, J Tommy, David, Pyrophoric, and the one, the only, Rosalini. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye.